Morley Notes, 12th November, 2022 People say that God is the creator. They think this refers to creation of the planet Earth and the systems of nature, the elements of matter, the diurnal cycle, animals and humanity. But no, these things are already there when God arrives on earth to perform the act of creation. Creation is through the word. The word means not one word, but many words that describe and define light. Not the light of a thousand suns, but the light of information that humanity cannot arrive at through spiritual practices, scientific investigation, myths or legends. His method is to establish his influence over people to destroy misconceptions that control the minds and cultures of people throughout the earth, regardless of their religion, political color, or education. These misconceptions are called paramat. There are some grains of truth in human, cultural, and religious concepts. He uses these to bind people's minds to greater truths. One element of truth can lead to more truths, and one element of falsehood leads to many elements of falsehood. God's method is logical, consistent, coherent thought. Systematically, he builds up a coherent, logical, self-consistent framework of ideas and simultaneously deconstructs blind beliefs that people adhere to. God is truth. God is one. God is the Father. God is the Creator. God is light. God knows everything. A large number of religious people of the Abrahamic traditions and of Hinduism and what are known as primitive religions claim to believe these statements. There are many atheists. Buddhism is an atheistic religion. Vedic Hinduism is also atheistic. Some believe that God is someone. Others believe there is something, an all-pervading energy that is impersonal. God has to deconstruct the misconception of both groups of people, theists and atheists. He focuses on India, which he calls his village. This is the location of the civilization he creates that people remember as the kingdom of heaven. He refers to the most ancient scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. This is the only scripture that is said to be the word of God and is spoken in the first person. It is the only scripture that gives details about the identity of God and of the human soul and the laws of karma in the context of the destruction of the world. He clarifies that the Gita was falsified. How, when, and by whom? If you follow his logic step by step, it is very easy. However, the power of truth and the power of falsehood 
are equally strong. If you attempt to listen to and apply the Word of God, you will be constantly and continuously attacked by falsehood, which has as many ways to maintain Paramat as God has to propose Srimat. It is a great battle, and you have to be a spiritual warrior in this war. Welcome to the fray. If you decide to be on the side of God, be prepared to be alone in the face of the world of religious, scientific and political authorities. It is therefore important to practice solitude. In solitude, you are able to discern where you are susceptible to taking support from somewhere other than God. To be on the side of God, you must be able to function without taking support from friends, relatives, anyone or any system that offers you support in exchange for limiting your freedom. Unless you maintain your freedom, you will not be victorious in battle. This is why the mantra is given, forget your body, your bodily relations, your bodily religions, and take support from one alone. This is the Vashikaran Mantra, Om Shanti.